Hello, my fellow civilians. This is The Dark Knight. And I want to remind you not to miss today's episode. Because it will feature not one, not two, but five books. That's right. This is another special edition of The Mast Reader. And it's coming right up. But for now, I have to leave. I have to see Gotham City once more. So cue the intro and Batman out! So, as mentioned, this is another special edition. This is not like the Super Bowl, however. This is a special Valentine's Day edition. And to celebrate and commemorate that, we have some uh valentine's you know friendship and love themed love themed books so let me just find that in my trusty pile of junky stuff football season might be over but in here it ain't yeah whatever keep looking and oh i found one Two, three, four, five. So this is all the five books that I have chosen. These are the top five Valentine's uh, love and friendship themed books. So first one up is a little children's and infant themed book. It is called Guess How Much I Love You. It's a little hair and he wants to prove to Big Hair, another character in the story, how much he loves him. And the book, uh, and the short book, talks all about um, what love means and how it can be measured and things like that. So I will give this book a 10 stars out of 5 stars. I liked it a lot. When I was little, I read this book very often. I'm probably going to read it again because I'm a big old baby. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I really enjoyed it. And I would recommend it to people, uh, to infants or to mothers that want to read a book to their children. So, moving on. Thank you right here. And moving on, we have a classic. Charlotte's Web. This is, I don't know, gosh, I do not know if you haven't read this, but this is a classic. Uh, the, basic the basic plot of the story, a little pig named Wilbur is adopted by a girl named Fern until he is a certain age. Then he leaves and he starts to live in a barn. While he's in the barn, he meets a little spider named Charlotte. And... To avoid, and I don't know if you know what happens to pigs uh, once at the end of the year, but um, kids, if you don't know, ask your mothers where bacon comes from. Because, yeah. So, to avoid his very sad ending, Charlotte, try Charlotte comes up with uh, really uh, funny ways, if really... Uh, she manages to make really funny messages to people. Soon, Wilbur, because of Charlotte, Wilbur becomes super famous. And it's... I, wow, wow, hold on. I'm going to have to stop right there because... Spoilers! That is a no-no in this channel. But I like this book. I will give it a 15 out of 5. This book, I also enjoyed it a lot. This, um, it's... A little step up from infants but I would recommend it to little uh, to kids that enjoy classics like these so this was also awesome. all right and the next book that we have is this book is originally written in French but it can be it's widely translated it is available uh, some languages that it's translated into is English, Spanish, Portuguese, and even Braille. This, you might remember it from its famous quote. What is essential is invisible to the eye. Ladies and gentlemen, written by Antoine de Saint-Exupéry, this is The Little 
Prince. The, uh, do not be surprised. This book right here, um, it is written, um, the title is in Portuguese, but the basic book, uh, the basic story of the book, a little boy escapes, um, a little boy lives on an asteroid with a rose. Uh, when the boy grows up, the rose decides to hate him, and then the boy leaves the asteroid and comes to Earth. This story, if Charlotte's Web was a classic, this one is a super classic. This one, this book, I enjoyed it so much. It was amazing, and it was very heartwarming, and they even made a movie out of it. Yeah, I almost forgot that. It's in Netflix, so you should watch it, too. Um, anyway, this book was really nice. I can't stress it enough. Really amazing, highly recommended to people that are even more experienced readers because this is a super classic. Definitely give this somewhere around 30 out of 5. Yeah, that sounds accurate. <laughs> ah, memories, memories. Oh, wow, this one is even more memories. Sorry, this, is, this book is from my childhood. This is one of my favorite books. Written by Marianne Richmond. This is I Love You So Much. This is, we are going back a little bit to the infant section books. But this these books talk about a relationship between a parent and her son. Uh, and his son or daughter. Yeah, this book, I read it when I was a toddler. I liked it so much that I memorized every single phrase of the book. And to this day, we still use one of the quotes in this book, the most famous one. All right, let me see if I can say it without dying of embarrassment. I love you. How much? So much. How much is so? Way, way more than you know. This is a this is a quote that is commonly said in my family, and I hope you read it and enjoy it so much that it might be stated that it might be stated in yours. I really would recommend this book to people of all ages. I definitely give this book a fifty out of five because it is that good. <laughs> Moving on. Now, they, all of these books were great, especially uh, this one. But this last book that I'm about to say, uh, that I'm about to tell, it was really great. It was amazing. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to present to you a true book about a boy, a tree, and love. This is... I'm joking, that's the author. I did this on purpose. But it is The Giving Tree, written by Shel Silverstein. <laughs> this book, wow. Also written in my childhood and also recommended to people of all ages. This is about doing anything for love. So it's about a boy and a tree. And the tree gives everything that it has to the boy as the boy grows up. Unfortunately, I can't say more because the book is so short that everything else that I would say would be a spoiler. But this book really is amazing. I would highly recommend you read it. Actually, not only this, but all of the books. That was, the, that was also one of the points of this video. Well, people, my good citizens, that is... A wrap. That is a wrap for the newest episode of The Masked Reader. Happy Valentine's Day to everyone out there and have a wonderful rest of your day. today's episode because it's gonna feature a lot of I screw up format and the
Oh, Hulk smash! Smash! Sorry. Coming soon! Coming up, the science adventure novel that is changing the world. The only book, the only is Children's Elma. <laughs> coming up, uh, coming up, the science adventure novel that is changing the world. Um, I always forget. Okay, okay, a gente começa de novo. Oh my god.